Well, the eye of the storm is hanging just offshore, as we have been noting, moving northward. But what do they mean by the eye and its effect on intensity? Scientists from NASA are using satellites to peek inside of the storm. And what they're seeing is fascinating, concentric eye walls. NASA scientist Dahlia Kirschbaum joins us right now. Dahlia, thank you for joining us. What, what do we need to know about these concentric eye walls that are forming and what the impact will be on this storm? Sure. Well, NASA has a suite of tools designed to really look at these storms like never before. And we work in partnership with NOAA to better understand the physics and intensity and ultimately help improve the forecast of these storms. Now, what we saw late yesterday was actually a satellite overpass showing Hurricane Matthew um, when it was still a Category 4. And up to that point, it had a fairly small but very intense eye wall with maximums, with sustained winds of about 140 miles per hour. Now, in this satellite image, we actually viewed the storm and saw that there was another larger eye wall forming. And essentially, this is called eye wall replacement. And so while what happened was it caused the storm to weaken with winds to a category three with winds for about 120 miles an hour. Mm -hmm. However, it also created a larger eye wall, uh. which is really what's been running up the coast of Florida. And that creates more area more of intense winds for this storm to affect the coast. So without the, without the hurricane actually making landfall, it can do as much damage, you're saying, because it's the eye walls are wider spread. The storm then is wider spread, and the destruction that be, can be caused from those winds uh, is wider spread. Is that, is that accurate? That's right. I mean, this is still a major hurricane, you know, the first to hit the U.S. in over a decade. And so, you know, with by understanding the dynamics of this storm, everything from the very intense wind, but also the heavy rain associated with this storm, you know, we have high winds and coastal storm surge that NOAA has been providing forecasts on, but we also are seeing very heavy rainfall. And with satellite observations, such as from the Global Precipitation Measurement Mission, we can actually see through the clouds layer by layer to look at this rainfall structure first as the storm was developing and moving across the Caribbean and then as it moved northward and dumped over 20 inches of rain on Haiti. So Dahlia, looking at this fascinating imagery that NASA has been able to provide and that you are looking so deeply into, what can you tell us as far as perspective on this storm and what this storm might look like at the end of it uh, compared to recent historical storms? Well, this is for sure the most powerful storm that we've seen thus far this season. In fact, this whole hurricane season has more power in it in the Atlantic than we have for the past four seasons. So this is going to go down in the record books as a major storm to affect the U.S. And we've had previous storms, you know, such as 10 years ago with Hurricane Katrina and Wilma. Mm -hmm. But, you know, 10 years ago, we didn't have Twitter. We didn't have iPhones. You know, our mm. technologies have advanced so much you know, even Fair in the point. past couple of years. Yeah. In fact, there's a mission and two missions that are launching next month to better observe hurricanes. The Gozar satellite launching from Kennedy, which is a NOAA satellite that will mm -hmm. really revolutionize our ability to track these storms. Mm -hmm. And also a research satellite, or actually a constellation of small satellites that allow us to better look, yeah. at, look at surface winds. Right. And so by all of these kind of tools together, we really can get a much better understanding of the processes of rapid intensification yep. and hurricane impact. And what you're seeing with those concentric eye walls, fascinating stuff and, and, and fascinating pictures. Dahlia, thank you. Thank you very much. All right.